Oh yes, today we're back again with part three of Jones Church Organ. As you can tell, it looks pretty much exactly the same as we left it in the last video. In truth, for the last two weeks, I haven't touched this at all because I've had other things to do. It's all set up in exactly the same way. People were playing with it at the museum. The controller was over at the front of the room. It looked like a nice setup where people could play and like hear it for what it did, which it doesn't do much. So the first thing that happened is the circuit board turned up that is gonna make the whole wiring of this whole organ a heck of a lot easier. So this is it assembled. I don't even know whether it works yet. I put it together earlier. And this has enough of it on board to control 40 organ pipes via a keyboard. You plug the keyboard into this thing, it's called MIDI. This thing is basically a much more compact and neater version of this thing that we plonked together to test it. As you can see, the wires are all gangly and this is massive and this is nice and compact. And we can plug more organ pipes into this. Let's quickly get the technical spiel out of the way so we don't send too many people to sleep. This circuit board receives MIDI which is a communication protocol that is sent by musical keyboards and that is plugged into this thing right here. This can be plugged into all manner of keyboards and computers and we'll look at that later on. Over here is a microprocessor development board. It's a Teensy 2.0++ and this will mean we can put any code into this so we can configure this to do anything we want it to do. The data comes through here from the musical keyboard. It goes into here which is the brains of the machine and then this tells these chips what to do. If you remember in the last video we used these which are called MOSFETs. Each of these chips are basically the equivalent of eight of these. So that means we can use one of these chips to control eight organ pipes. There's five of these chips right here, that means we can control 40 organ pipes with this circuit board. So the first thing I think we should do is get rid of the spaghetti junction and start again. Because there's a lot more than 40 organ pipes, we're gonna need a few of these boards. And that means each of these boxes are gonna be assigned one or two of these. We're gonna start with this one right here, which only needs one. We're gonna bolt it straight onto it right here, and we're gonna see how it works. Each of these wires are connected to a solenoid that's under one of the organ pipes that then opens up and lets the air go through the organ pipes. And we need to figure out the exact order of these and wire them in from one up to however many there are here on the thing. For instance, this is a C and the wire is right here. So we're gonna wire this straight into connector one. Okay, okay. Lovely jubbly. You'll see this is double D, this hole right here, and that wire is there. We've got to wire this into input three. And let's continue the process, shall we? Behind the church organ lies a dreaded secret. Set myself up in a really awkward manner and like, oh, yeah, you know, just trying to climb out of this thing every time I've got to test, test a test a jet. Every time I've got to test a wire. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> We've got a crocodile lead on this one right here that's connected over there, and we're gonna test it and try and find out which one it is. All right, let's find out. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we got ourselves a bite. I'll neaten the wiring up later, but we gotta plug this into pin number two right here. I've just uploaded a piece of code that I've made onto the Teensy so we can test it. Oh. So now all of the organ pipes on this chest are plugged in. So that means we could go. It's coming out of there because I've unplugged it. But remember in the last video that this wind chest actually has two sets of pipes that have exactly the same notes, just slightly different tone. So it's an open diapason apparently. So we've got MIDI channel one that plays this. And MIDI channel two. We can have them playing at the same time. <laughs> However, one issue has reared its ugly head. You see my gung-ho approach of pulling the organ out all in one day in part one. Well, it turns out we actually forgot a little bit. You see the CC sharp pipe, this was bent over going into the loft above the room that the organ was in. Well, if you look closely at the top of this pipe right here, you may notice that it is at a bit of a slant. Well, it turns out that we didn't realize when we pulled that out, well, a bit of its pipe was still stuck in the loft. It probably fell off a few years ago, but we didn't realize and we managed to just leave it sat there. Thankfully, Josh had a look up in 
in the loft and managed to find the missing piece of pipe. So there it is. Unfortunately, it's still in Bristol. So if anybody from Bristol is planning to come to the museum anytime soon, then please get in touch because it would be really nice if you could pick it up and uh, bring it along to us so we can plonk it back on top of this pipe. However, with the magic of gaffer tape, it solves everything. I've turned the C-sharp into a C by extending it a little bit. So yeah, right now we haven't got a C-sharp in this register, but uh, it's fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So now we've got this wide in, let's make another two of these boards for this wing chest right here, and maybe we can play some songs. Woo. Another thing we've got to look at is the fact that one of the notes here wasn't actually working. The solenoid was actually working until you filled this up with air and it would stop working so we've had, uh, I've had a look on the inside and here and let's have a closer look so this one is the problem one and as you can see straight away when we're looking here this one looks like it's actually been replaced or been messed with before it's got the wires all dangling not neat like the other ones it's a bigger coil and it doesn't look like it's been matched very well as you can see with the other ones the mechanism is much more neater and closer to it this one is all a bit skew with it does work it's just when it's energized the magnetism is pretty weak so i'm going to take it out and i'm going to bend this a little bit and try and shape it a little bit better to make it a little bit a little bit stronger fingers crossed that should do it it's not perfect but that might just do the trick Just working through the rat nest to find all of the cables. I'm currently on pipe number 20 and I've just got a hunt for it. I've just got to feel around waiting for the bleep. Where's the bleep? Oh, we got ourselves a bait. hours later and it is all wired in and ready to go. Whilst I was wiring it in, one thing that surprised me was how high the pipes went up. Have a listen to this. We got the lowish ones. But then it keeps on going up. So as far as I understand, the highest notes, those tiny little ones over there, they would actually be played on their own. Unless it was a church of dogs, then maybe they might like that in the solo. <laughs> These pipes will come in handy when we get onto the controller, the console, the bit with all the switches and the keys. Because what happens when you flip the switches, you actually stack up the pipes. That means when you push a single note, it's not always just one pipe that's running. Sometimes it could be octaves on top of octaves. So these higher pipes will act as overtones on top of other pipes to make it sound a little bit more full and funky. Also, check out our bolted the electromechanical visitor counter to the wall just before we open today. Ooh. So currently all the pipes that you see are now wired in. We're not even halfway, but it doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of fun and try and get some music out of this. So as you know, the whole plan is to connect this all with MIDI. That means only a couple of wires are going to connect to each of the wooden boxes instead of like 500 or whatever it was. I haven't sorted out the console yet to play things so it seems like a perfect time to play some MIDI files through this and see what it sounds like. So I'm going to play this video out with what I'm guessing is the Stairway to Heaven equivalent on organ. Yes, you know it, it is. <laughs>
circuit board we can keep on adding pipes and just keep on going and then after that we're going to figure out how to add lights to each of the organ pipes so we know which ones are playing at which time i'm doing a live stream over on patreon tonight with midi file requests so if you want to request some songs maybe on the live stream and listen to it i'll probably be able to play quite a few of them through here so go and check it out over there and yeah i'm looking at my no computer this is the church organ if you like we'll see you guys